Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Now, today we're doing a Q&A. You guys sent me on questions on TikTok and I'm going to be answering them. If somehow you don't follow my TikTok, it'll be the first link in the description and you'll be able to participate in all this stuff in the future. And yeah, let's just get straight into the questions you guys sent me. Okay, the first question we have here from Rory is, would you rather play rugby or hurling? Well, to be honest, I really don't have the physique for rugby. So I'll pick hurling purely because I don't want to be flattened under some six foot three monster, but I wouldn't be any good at both. Okay, question here from Brian. What was your first job? Well, I did work experience in a tire factory, if that counts, back in TY. And then I used to work in Supermax as well, so yeah, that'd be it. From Tim Hayden, why did you start TikTok? I don't think I've ever told this story actually. Pretty much what happened was there was this YouTube account called, what was his name? Ah uh, yeah, it was Real Scam. Uh, he used to do compilations of Irish TikTokers and I remember one of my friends made it into one of the compilations and this was over lockdown, I was bored, I didn't have much to be doing so I thought, oh that'd be cool, um, maybe I'll just do a bit of that because clearly it's easy enough to get into these like you don't have to be a celebrity or anything like that my friend was actually very funny, like I'm not trying to slight I'm not trying to slight you here James if you listen but yeah um, I thought this might be something I'll be able to do to pass the time in lockdown and then I think it was my fifth video made it into one of those compilations and then from there I was just like oh this is great crack and just kept going why do you have an earring and when did you get it? well I had the earring just because I wanted one to be honest um, I got it September of fifth year so about a year ago now so there, there you go okay there's a lot of questions here asking about the first shift uh, it was in Lurgan, uh, Klosh Lurgan, the Gaeltucht, when I was in, it was the summer of second year. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to name any names, but yeah, I mean, it was good enough for first, like, can't complain. But that was in, yeah, that was in Lurgan, second year. There you go. Okay, my name's Jeff19 asks, would you rather YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram? Well, I don't exactly have the face for Instagram. And I don't think I need to choose between doing TikTok. Obviously TikTok is the main thing that I do, but I like to have the option to do YouTube as well because I like the longer form content as well. So if I had to grade them, I'd say TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, but I don't see why I can't just do any, all of them really. Okay, Adam Flannery is asking for my chicken fillet roll order. Well, I tell you, I'd go for spicy chicken, usually plain, but if I'm feeling like I need a bit of a treat that day, I'll get some spice, like, sorry, some streaky bacon inside in there. And it is the best, 100% would suggest if none of you have tried it. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is worth it as a treat, trust me. Ah, Jesus. Kiwi Rossi is asking me to do some controversial opinions here. Barry's or Lions, Rich Tea or Digestives, Walker's or Tato's. Okay, don't cancel me for this now, but I'm going to say Barry's, Digestives, and Tato's. Are we all, are we all okay? Is bread, is bread Batch calling in? Am I okay? Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. What's my favorite subject in school from Hannah McGrath? Um, it'd be either physics or English. I'm thinking about doing physics in college, so if, I had, if you push me for one, it'd be physics, but I like English a lot as well. Okay, Jack Flatley is asking for my opinions on the goat house. So that's the title sorted. Nah, in all honesty guys, it's kind of trendy at the moment to just rag on the Go house. I actually, yeah, I didn't really like their stuff at the start. I'm not gonna lie. They were definitely going through growing pains at the start, but I think that they've really grown into it and I like their stuff now. And I'm kind of happy enough to say that. I know that a lot of people in the Irish TikTok community are ragging on them, but personally, I like their stuff. And also, you have to remember, they are doing something that hasn't been done in Ireland before. Obviously, they're going to make mistakes. It's not going to be perfect. But I think that they're starting to work out the problems with it now. And they're coming towards something that'll be really good. Okay, a lot of people asking here if I have a... Oh, okay, boyfriend slash girlfriend. I appreciate the inclusiveness. Everyone is welcome here on this channel. But I don't have a boyfriend because I happen to be straight and I don't have a girlfriend just because I don't. Sad times. 
What's the most embarrassing thing to happen to you? Right, so pretty much we were in Lurgan and we were doing a televised talent show. Now, I was supposed to be singing Oro Shilabahawalia as one of the kind of breakup acts, like it wasn't actually part of the talent show really. But we had a backing track and on the night the backing track started early. There was supposed to be oh so much of a drone like on the inland pipes or whatever it was and then the singing was supposed to start. But the singing started early and I was completely caught unprepared and I hadn't the experience yet of being on stage really. That was one of my first times really. I think I could probably, I'd probably been on stage about four times before and it was definitely my first time being live with the backing track. So I had no idea how to compensate for it. I had no idea how to kind of get back into time with the backing track. So I ended up just singing the entire thing out of time. And it was terrible, like truly, truly awful. And I had to go into the college for the next week after that. So yeah, that's probably one of the most embarrassing things. Would you rather be a creator or have a really high paying job from Solid Man? Well, okay. If I could be a creator and make a decent enough living, like a living where I don't have to worry about putting food in the fridge and keeping a roof over my head, creator would be for me. But I also need to think about, you know, supporting a family later on in life, all that stuff. So it'd be a balance between that. If I could have a create, so pretty much to answer your question, if I could be a creator that can support a family and have a decent enough standard of living, yes, I prefer to do that. But if I couldn't do that, I would take the high paying job. Evan Mulcher, would you rather enslave the British government or the American government? Where the fuck did you think of this? Oh, I'm gonna say the British government and make them give us the six counties back just for the meme. How about that for you lads? Oh Jesus Christ. Iron Spence, would you rather eat dog or cow poop? Oh my god, uh, lads, lads, you're you're slightly ta you're slightly messed up in the head, I'm not gonna lie. Um I'm gonna say I'm gonna say dog poo. Just purely because it's smaller. I don't wanna have to eat a whole fucking cow pat. So yeah, I'll go dog poo? Ugh. Matthew Murphy asks, what's your darkest secret? I keep Jimmy and Eamon locked up in the basement. Okay, and the last question here from Harry Carroll, what got you into skits? Well, I'll be honest, it's not that difficult. Skits are just what I watch on YouTube a lot of the time, and they're what I like to watch on TikTok. So I just make the content that I like to watch, that's literally it. But yeah, that's pretty much why I do skits. And I would say to you as well, if any of you are thinking about making stuff on TikTok, just do stuff that you, that you would like to watch. That's my best piece of advice. Just make a whole bunch of content, throw a whole bunch of stuff at the wall, see what sticks, but mainly make content that you would yourself would want to watch because then at least one other person out there in the world probably wants to watch it as well. So you never know. Maybe you find something that people enjoy. Right guys, that's gonna be it for today's Q&A. Thank you so much for sticking to this point in the video. If you have enjoyed, please go and give us a like and subscribe down below. It'd mean a lot to me. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the TikTok stuff, as I said, first link in the description will take you right there. So yeah, I hope that you all have a great midterm and thank you all for tuning into the video. We'll see you around.